Hi everyone. Going to have a play in my art log today. So what I thought about doing was I've got some black gesso here. So I'm going to cover up as best I can. <laughs> cover up these two pages with some black gesso and then I'm going to do that Denridic mono printing on the pages. I think I might do one at a time, that might be better otherwise I'm going to have paint everywhere. But oh, I just love that Denridic mono printing that Shannon Green showed us how to do and I thought I might get a page with the white on the black gessoed page and see what I can make of it. So get this covered and then I'll give it a dry I'm just not sure how hard it's going for, to be for me to place this down on top of the the glass plate to pull the print but I will see and I'll let you enjoy the process with me Okay, so that's a good coverage of the black. And I'll come back, I'll give that a really good dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I, um, I actually did paint up the second page um, while I was off um, camera and both pages are dry in my book. So now I am denied whether to use white acrylic paint or the white gesso. So actually I grabbed my white um, acrylic paint out but I actually might use the white gesso and see how that goes. So I've got some white gesso here, gesso, and I've got my two glass plates and I've got this one on the bottom because the corner has already cracked on me. I've been using it so much <laughs> since I found out about this technique because I just love it. So, oh, okay. So I'll see how I go. All I'm going to do is put some, a good splodge, well not that good a splodge, but I want it more or less all over the glass plate. I just don't know how fast because I don't know gesso does dry for me fast okay righto so I've got that down and I'll put my other plate on the top and give it a squish oh I hear that cracking noise right so we just squish it down a bit Um, get something to lift it up with. Um, where's my idea? You'd think I'd be more organised, wouldn't you? Um, okay. 
I'm going to use this to lift it up with my metal. Oh, now I can't get them back in. Okay, so I'm going to lift it up with the palette knife if I can. Don't tell me it's stuck already. Okay, so gently lifting up. Right. Okie doke. So, I'm going to get my page. Oh, how's this going to work? And I'm going to... This is either going to work or be a complete fiasco, but either way, it doesn't really matter because if it doesn't work, I can always paint over it, can't I? Okay, so let's pull that up. Oh, and I swooshed it. Oh, that's how it turned out. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So do I want to do, I need some more. I'm just having a look for some, um, I've got some black paper here that I can pull another print from on this one. Okay, so let's lift that print up. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Let me see if I can see anything in it. No, uh, not really, but... Oh. Just brought my table over. I'll see if I can get another print off this one. Is that oh, I just love this technique I'm trying to see something in it wow that is just so cool okay so I might I'm going to put a bit more of the gesso on here and I'm going to pull another one in my book and see how I go I'll try this time I'll try and press down a bit harder on the book to see if I can bring more out more design out of it okay so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll leave that on there. But I'll put this one down on there. Okay. Give it a squish down. Every time I squish down, I can hear that corner cracking. <laughs> I'm going to have to find some purse, 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 purse pecs, purse plex. Perspex, perspex, yeah, that's what you call it, it's perspex, which is like the thick um, hard plastic and use that. Okay, so here we go, lifting this one up. And we'll see with this one. Oops, no, not in the paint. Should have moved that. Okay, let's have a go at this one now, at this side. And that's still wet, so I knew I was going to get paint everywhere. So I'll hold it somewhere. Right. Move that out of the road. 
so I can see the edge. Okay, so I've got that down. And I'm just going to gently press that on and see how I go with this one. Okay, lift up. Oh, much better. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. I just love it. Oh, so which way is my book up that way? So I might move this one. No, I won't. I'll get another print while I'm here. <laughs> just one more, just one more. I'm like a kid in a candy store eating candies. Oh, please, just one more, just one more. So I'll put that one there and see if I can get a second print off that. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, my goodness, that is so cool. And another one off this side. Yep, lovely. Wow, that is just gorgeous. Okay, so I'll move this glass plate out of the road. I don't want to drop it. Oh. And I'll bring this one over. And I'm thinking that I might put this one, the other, the first one I done back on this page on this glass plate and give it a press to see if I can pick up a bit more. Just hope I haven't let it go too dry. I'm trying my hardest not to get paint all over me. Okay, so let's pull that up. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oops, I'm losing all my stuff out of my book. Oh, they're, oh, very, very happy. So that's what that one looks like. That's with the black gesso, with white gesso print on the black gesso paper. I just love it. Okay, well, that's my play in my book for today. And I've got a nuisance plane going over. So I hope you all enjoyed me having another play and I'm going to carry on doing some more um, white on black. Oh, I just love that. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. You have a good day.